All right. Good morning, everyone. We've had a herd of elephants in the area during the nights, and we're going to try and attempt to pick up on them this morning. We've hit a bit of a ridge line here. We've heard the elephants, the herd below us, and we can hear them feeding a little bit of movement. Um, so we've given ourselves a little bit of distance, and we're actually going to try and walk in, get a, a decent, safe approach, beautiful sun rising in the background. Nice um, chilly morning. Lovely chilly morning, yes, <laughs> yes. fresh. Um, but we're going to try and work it. We've got a lovely hill. As I say, we're going to work a lovely hill, have, try and get the herd below us, um, and actually spend a little bit of time with these amazing creatures this morning. Does look like the breeding herd as well. Looks like there. it, a couple of bulls following. So let's see what we can, what we can do. Graham, you see the kudus down there? Okay, uh, so it looks like we've got, I can see one, two, three, four, four female kudus. Um, obviously, this is quite different to being in a vehicle. Um, just with us being in this upright posture, they can see us as a human, as a, the apex predator of the environment. You already see them starting to move off. Um, compared to a vehicle, where they'll actually stand around quite a bit. Unfortunately, we can also look at this as what we call a secondary disturbance. We've already said that we've potentially got a herd of elephants below us. Um, and what we don't want to do is spook another animal to run off and potentially scare those animals off or alert them to our presence. So a couple of elephants, you can see one, two, three, about four, five members of the herd up on the hill over there. Just like us, they're trying to find a bit of sun this morning. <laughs> trying to warm up a bit. So it's, it's perfect for now. We're going to have them on the opposite hill. Be beautiful sighting and enough distance and safety between us, we can actually find a lovely little spot on the rock, sit and observe them. And actually sit and observe them for the morning. What a, what a better way to spend a Sunday morning, eh? On lockdown. <laughs> so we see a lot of the time with herds, especially once you, these big breeding herds get very, very large, you actually do find the herd splitting. Correct. Often the matriarch having the main herd itself and then her older daughter will actually split off with a group. Um, and you actually find them doing their own thing. So you often find the group coming together, congregating for water, decent food sources, a bit of a get together. Bit of a catch up. Bit of a catch yeah. up. And then you actually do watch them go off on their own way. So actually seeing that a little bit of a split in this group yeah. already, one group sticks together. One car high up on the ridge. And doing our own thing. So it sort of shows you that the, the herd's getting big enough now that they are going to split off potentially into two. Two separate groups. Two yeah. separate groups, that's it. And especially now coming into winter, food sources are scarce, not as abundant as summertime, it makes more sense for 60 tons of elephants to split up and try and find food all over mm. than try and sort of savage one area as a whole. I wonder if we don't uh, have a young bull, potentially a little bit lower down. Right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Maybe uh, quite a young, so you can mm. see it's separating from the herd. Um, Generally your males will hang back, or your bulls would hang back. That's it. That's, we actually Follow the herd slowly, but keep a distance from the herd. Correct, and it's, it's a question we actually get a lot of the time is, you know, don't elephants stay in herds? Yeah. Not all of them. Your, your family members, your, your females, their youngsters, um, all their relations will stay together in, in one breeding herd itself. But unfortunately, everyone is related. So once the youngsters, the young males become sexually mature, they do start showing an interest in their, their female family members. So by the age of about 13, 14, they are actually kicked out of the herd. They then got to go off on their own. They can join up with a, a bit of a bachelor group or an Ascari. But once they get bigger, bulls actually do stay on their own. Mm -hmm. And you get the odd one following. Yeah, that's correct. it. That's it. 